Hey guys, thought I'd do a quick, you know, type overview, kind of show and tell on this uh, snow degravitator. Um, right off the bat, see I got gloves on today, uh, not turning tactical on you. Um, got this kind of thing going on with my fingers, you know, I thought it had gone away, but apparently it came back. I must have some kind of virus on my fingers, it causes them to crack open and peel it looks pretty bad so you know I don't want you guys to see that um so that's why I got the gloves on guys um like we got this we got the Snowdy 425 Gravitator excellent excellent knife as you guys know I just recently got this one haven't had too much pocket time in fact I have no pocket time with this I don't think this is going to be a carry knife this one is even though I've I said I wasn't I wasn't going to buy knives to collect anymore going to buy knives to use. I think this one is going to be a collection knife for sure. Maybe once in a blue moon I'll carry it, but it's just, uh, anyway, we got that out of the way. This is the Gravitator. It's a snowy design. I believe it was from 1998, somewhere around there. I'm not too familiar with Benchmade, so, but I think it was like a late 90s. No, I'm sorry, 2008. Somewhere around there, mid 2000s design. Right off the bat, let's get some measurements out of the way. It's got roughly a, it's got a four and a half inch blade with three and three quarters inch cutting surface. Overall, it is eight and a quarter inches. So, it's a pretty fairly large knife. It's got that wicked Warncliffe blade. Now, it's definitely a an odd ward cliff. I mean, it's definitely got snooty written all over it. You know, most most ward cliffs they'll have that rounded tip. You know, comes down like a slope. But this knife, leave it to snooty to make a tactical ward cliff blade. You know, <clears throat> this thing has a piercing, piercing point. I mean, it's 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 you can stab through anything. It's got a nice kind of, you know, it's a perfect self-defense knife if that's what you want to use it for, I guess. It's got a super sharp point. <clears throat> As you can see, it's got swedges all over it. I mean, it's got this one main swedge that comes down. Blade kind of thins out and it thickens at the tip. So it's got a nice reinforced tip. Hollow ground blade, obviously. Nice, nice and sharp. This mother is super duper sharp. And this is magazine paper. We all know how thin magazine paper is. It's just going through that like nothing. So this thing came razor, razor sharp. Super smooth opening. It's got bronze washers. Super smooth opening. Titanium liners, nice thick titanium liners, locks up nice and solid, no blade play whatsoever. I mean, we all know Benchmade quality. And this is, uh, somebody left me a note, that they call this Twill G10. I've never seen Twill G10. Looks like carbon fiber for sure. I've never seen Silver G10. But we got Silver Twilled G10 and just your run of the mill basic black G10. It's got these grooves in it. Knife kind of tapers off. It fits really good in the hands. Very ergonomic. You've got kind of like a pommel here. Bash somebody if you want to. It's got an awesome pocket clip. I believe the pocket clip is stainless. It's got jimping on top here. You can really choke up. Or you can even choke up all the way. It's got like, say your finger fits perfectly in there. Awesome work knife. It'd be a great EDC knife. Dual thumb studs. Very, very uh, reinforced uh, craftsmanship. It's got the four pillars right here. That's a lot, you know, in one spot. So this is a really, really well-built, tough knife. It's got the stop pin. Four pillars right there. Nice and centered. A fairly large knife. Here it is next to a menace. 
it kind of dwarfs, I mean, the menace. And we got an Endura. It's about the size of an Endura, exactly. Delica. So it's 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 a middle middle range. It's a, it's a large knife. It's a middle range knife because it's not it's not as big as the military, you know, or the Endura. So it's about it's a mid middle range knife. It's got a nice satin finish. Made in the USA course 154 cm which is a great great steel um snowdy makes his custom knives out of ats 34 which is very very similar to um 154 cm so basically you've got a custom menace here a custom snowdy design except you know it wasn't built by snowdy himself but i mean you got the titanium you got this awesome g10 it's a really really nice knife I'm really happy with it. The frame lock or the line lock is really easy to disengage. Real smooth, you know. Nice stick liners. They're not skeletonized at all. But uh it's a light knife. I'd say this knife weighs about about three ounces, three point five ounces, four, you know, somewhere around there. So it's a light knife. Real smooth. I like it. So this is probably gonna be my review of it because I'm not gonna be carrying this knife, so but I can tell you it's super duper sharp. You know, it's a pretty fairly decent carry. It's about that much of the knife showing. Great. Great for EDC. Self-defense. You know. So, that's the Snowdy 425 Gravitator. Silver and black G10. Titanium liners. Modified, super duper modified Warren Cliff blade, snowy design. Okay, y'all, take care now. Be safe, stay sharp.